It's here. We're down at the Googleplex to check out Honeycomb, Google's Android operating system that's souped up and designed especially for tablets. Now, will it compete with the iPad? Google and its partners, they certainly hope so. When you're out there in the marketplace and I'm looking for a tablet, what will the Honeycomb experience do that you know maybe Apple's tablet can't do or, or how is the experience different? What we set out to do with Honeycomb was to bring the touch experience to the large screen and make it a complete mobile computing experience. So it's not the same experience that you have on the phone. We're expanding it to be full featured. And that's not just about how long you're using the tablet, but it's also the amount of control you have. No matter how connected you are, no matter how many emails or tweets you're receiving, right? So we're thinking about the entire experience um, of what mobile computing means, full featured computing means um, for today today and for the future. For non-engineers who aren't going to run out and look at the SDK, you know, what are the advantages, what are people going to really enjoy, you think, when they sit down and pick up, very soon we hope, uh, an Android Honeycomb-powered tablet? One of the things we tried to create with Honeycomb was a really cinematic experience. So everything is made out of light and feels like the type of user interface you'd see in a movie, not the kind of thing you're used to having at home. So as you're flipping through 3D books or 3D videos or 3D music, right, you're really immersed in the experience and just really directly touching the uh, interface in, in the way that you should in the future. Well, and explain to us, too, the difference between how you cuz we can do similar things on our handset on our notebooks on our desktops and and now on tablets but how is the tablet unique and how have you guys made that experience unique via Honeycomb well the the fantastic thing about tablets is that it opens up that large screen experience with the immediacy of touch so for so long, you've seen people in coffee shops and on couches hunched over their laptops, sitting in these really unnatural postures. Tablets allow you to interact with it like you would with a magazine or a book. You sit in a very natural posture. You're very comfortable for a longer period of time. Just the physicality of the touch creates an emotional connection. So it's, it's really about being more connected to the content that you get through these things. The last time we got our hands on this, the Motorola Zoom, we actually couldn't get our hands on it. It was more or less trapped in a can, canned video. Today, Google and Motorola let it out of captivity. It works great. Really a slick device. Um, are you going to want one? If you're a big fan of Google services, probably. Will it compete with the iPad? Sure. But as we all know, Apple will have a response, and that's going to be called iPad 2.